Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. If the videos are helping you in your designing process, please uh, smash that uh, subscribe button, tap that uh, notification bell, leave me a like and a comment. And if you feel like it, uh, go ahead and hit that uh, thanks button and uh, give me some coffee. <laughs> Keep me awake. All right, let's uh, today uh, we're going to address a little question here. Uh, on how to flay this edge uh, a little bit and there's several different ways to do it so I'll try to explain a little bit about that I'm not sure how you made the surface I'm going to assume it was through one of the builders a uh, signet builders so uh, let's go ahead and get going on this I'll grab a tool grab a ring and hit enter grab the signet ring and we'll just take the default uh, right out the box there right and uh, we'll just take that and uh, it doesn't look as sharp as yours uh, but uh, it, it's the same principle really uh, the first thing that I would try since you have a, a closed poly surface right uh, would be I, I would go to uh, my my first go to would be going to solids and then coming here to uh, fillet edge and then clicking on that and hit blend edge uh, and then wait for the command line to pop up. Now, there's some things down here that we want to look at. The first thing is you probably want to go ahead and chain edges just in case there's uh, several edges, which I know there are. It's a poly surface. Uh, so you, you, it, when you do chain edges, it'll just automatically give you options to select other uh, edges, right, along that same edge. Uh, so that's what we're going to do first. And then we'll go ahead and select this. And it go ahead and gives me uh, most of that uh, there's a little piece right there that's what i want right there so this one here i'll go ahead and click on it and now i have a edge there right and then i'll hit enter don't hit enter twice just once uh, because you want to make sure this preview it's set to no uh, by default so make sure that goes to yes and uh, radius distance, I have it set at 0.05. The default is 1, all right? I'm going to go ahead and change it back to 1. Uh, and it will uh, blow. Uh, it, it will blow on this at a point at a 1 millimeter, I believe. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit enter. Oh, it took me out of the 5. Okay, so, well, there's your edge there. Uh, let's go back real quick, uh, just so we can... Uh, do this show you exactly because these will be the default settings so we go in here we go and click uh blend edge make sure uh you hit not next uh let's back out of that go in here and hit chain edges and then select that edge there uh, and then pick your next edge right there and it gives you the circle right uh and we'll go ahead and hit enter and now it's set at the default preview yes uh, because you always want to see the preview right and then it'll hit enter and of course it just blows up and you're going oh my gosh right but it's no big deal uh, because you can go here to set all and then you can change it to whatever you want and a 0 0.5 is what we had in there earlier and that's what it gave us right at least it didn't blow on us right but it did it did make create an open surface so let's go ahead and take that just so i can show you uh if you know you like that half uh, half a millimeter uh blend uh, fill it on there uh it's no big deal Be but we pick it and it we have a, it created an open surface so let's go to analyze uh edge tools and hit show edges a lot of times it's better to have it on a uh, wireframe uh to see these edges but we'll just uh, the, for this one it's okay uh, and we have a four naked as whenever it's an even number, it's, it's, they're really usually pretty easy to fix. Uh, non-manifold edges are a little bit more complicated, but not entirely impossible. Uh, so we only have four, so it's no big deal, really. Uh, just go, uh, to back to your edge tools and where it says join two naked edges and then select select on that one pink and then go back and click that same curve again because that's probably where your edge is at and it'll tell you join edges and just hit yes so it deleted that one right click bring it back click on this edge here and then click on it again and get rid of that one now when you click on the surface we have a close per, uh, poly surface so you'll have to do that to both sides but uh that is one way to fix it, uh, uh, put a, a fillet on that really easily, right? That's probably my go-to way uh, for doing it, uh, but we'll go back here. Let's abort that command. 
let's go back 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 to before it's filleted right okay uh and this if we type on type in what it's a poly surface so th these can create some issues when you go to uh fillet them uh they're not as uh i guess friendly <laughs> but if we take this and we go ahead and nuke it right if we nuke it uh now we have all kind of little uh surfaces here that's will that nuke no okay that's a nerve surface oh there's a surface there's a surface uh so they're all kind of out there. this is the long way to do it that other way is much much easier and then there's a third way too so we'll check them all out so in case you come across different ways sometimes that uh, blend edge doesn't work but uh, most of the time uh, you can adjust it to where it will be okay so i'm going to go down here well first go to surface and then i'm going to go here and uh, click on my edit tools and i'm just going to click on merge and i'm going to merge this surface and this surface so so now that's one surface right click merge this one and merge it let's see right click merge this one okay one of those is a poly surface so let's check what this is oh it's a trim surface um uh, maybe you won't be able to do it this way uh, on this particular design but let's check make sure so we'll go back to edit tools and we'll just do a, a shrink on it a shrink trim surface uh and then hit enter and now we'll try that match just in case because sometimes this works no, it's not going to give it. It's still a, a trim surface, so that's not going to work for us. Let's go back. That was just another way. You can uh, join all those surfaces together to make a nerve surface and then split it, but it's a lot of extra work. Uh, there's really another uh, little bit quicker way to do it. <clears throat> we got this out here. Let's go ahead and grab all yellow, turn it to gray. I'm going to, uh, if you go to curves, and you go down here to uh, from object, you can click on this dupe edge, right? I have it also in my quick command, so I'm going to click on there. Uh, and we'll change this to yellow. Uh, and then click on that edge there, that edge there, and this edge here. Uh, and then hit enter, right? Uh, and now there's, uh, it's three different curves, right? So we can probably since this is a poly surface actually you could just explode that and just run that sweep and then it'll make a, a nerve surface uh which would be but you have this one you have to deal with too so uh, okay depending on how you want to attack it uh, but we can uh let's go ahead and take all those yellow and then we'll just go ahead and join them together and we'll take that yellow and we will uh just type right there however much you want i'll just go to a point uh, to five and hit enter so it moves at point two five along that edge right now i'll go ahead and go back uh, to my dupe edge uh, and we'll go ahead and dupe that edge one more time here here and here and then hit enter and i'm going to go ahead and join those together right now i'm going to go to my front viewport uh and i am going to first thing i'll do is go to transform and i'll just go ahead and snap it to my c plane uh and uh, delete input object yes and so it should have snapped it to the front if i do here it'll snap it to the bottom so if i do here it'll snap it to the right so you need to make sure you're in the correct viewport it's viewport sensitive uh, so we have that and it moved the curve onto this into the center right so now i can take that curve and i can uh, bump it out and i can go in here and kind of hold down shift and kind of go like right in there so that it, it goes around the edge there now again we want to go back to our uh, front viewport so what i'm going to do is here's our curve out here right we'll go ahead and go to curves and uh go to project all right select curves to project we'll select that yellow curve hit enter select our objects to project 
project two that'll be our item here hit enter now we don't want it to the top we'll just go ahead and make it to our active viewport which is the front so project to active viewport and that's this and then we'll hit enter uh, and it snapped it onto our surface just that far out right now i can go ahead and we'll just hide this one all right and now i can go ahead and well you can do uh you can mirror these over to the other side too so you can do them both at the same time uh, i can take this surface and then i can split with yellow uh, and then hit enter and now it gives me that surface there that we don't want and we can delete it right now i can go to arc direction really you could do a blend too uh, that would work uh, you could do an arc direction here. I'll show it this way first. Uh, we'll go to quad to maybe the quad there. Go to your right viewport, right? And just kind of uh, whatever blend you want on there, right? And then you can do a uh, surface two, one, two. I don't think that click i'll bring it back one two three yeah right click i gotta make sure you gotta make sure you, okay well let's do this let's hide green <laughs> right click there 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 no okay maybe that curves open so let's take a look at it let's get rid of that close curve close curve okay we'll just do the it should sweep so one i didn't want to select that one for some reason huh interesting all right so we'll go to sweep two on this one one two enter and there we go and now when we go back to our ring we have that uh, blended surface on that ring there uh so you can do that and then we can just take that join it together and check it close poly surface so you can do it that way as well uh now the other way that i was uh, talking about using the blend let's go back and get rid of that <clears throat> sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't we'll go ahead and get rid of the curves we just need the surface uh oh we can't we'll change it to this go here because they're uh all uh separate surfaces right so if i go to blend i can go to chain edges right and i can select that one and we can come down here and select this one here that's our first segment right uh, so select the second segment would be this one and then this one here and then just go ahead hit enter uh, and now we are able to manipulate this uh, however you want uh, you can go to tangency uh, and you can lock these and you can make them smaller or you know move them out or in or whatever however you want uh, and just hit okay uh, and then grab all that and join it together check your surface it says open surface so there might be a little piece in here let's probably write down in here again uh so go to analyze show naked edges and it's just two naked edges so no big deal just go to your naked edges join two naked edges uh, click on that one there and then again and yes and then check it close poly surface good to go so there's there's uh, all kind of options you can get to get a little uh softening on that uh and if the you know the splitting you can make big bigger you know if you want to take it up higher and in you could change that direction how much you want to take it in or out uh so hopefully that uh, kind of answers your question um but there's all kind of different ways to make the, that little edge there. So thanks for watching. Good designing and uh, see you next time.